New details in a triple murder investigation in Marion County. Kids, both 12 and 17, now facing murder charges. They took a life without thought. They deserve the full extent of the law. And tonight, another suspect, a 16-year-old, is on the run. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Within the past 30 minutes, the sheriff's office says it is now offering a $10,000 reward that could lead them to answers and an arrest. The Marion County Sheriff's Office releasing this video showing the 12 and 17-year-olds being taken to jail. Deputies say the three suspects are behind the shooting deaths of three teens. Their bodies found on different days not far apart. We have team coverage tonight covering these new developments. New Six's Brian Didlake is speaking with parents in the community, but we begin with New Six's Catherine Silver. Catherine. The sheriff gave an emotional update here today, naming their suspects and what they believe might have motivated these murders. Detectives say all of these kids were associated with gangs and were involved in burglaries and robberies before three teens wound up dead. There is no honor among thieves and at some point these three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered them. Sheriff Billy Woods announcing a big breakthrough on a triple homicide case revealing for the first time the suspects allegedly responsible for the killings of three teens are also juveniles because they took a life. Are y'all comprehending that the youngest suspect named by the sheriff's office is 12 years old. Video shows Christopher Atkins in handcuffs, along with 17-year-old Robert Robinson. Nice Deputies say a third suspect, 16-year-old Taj Bruton, is still wanted. They fled the scenes, but left a lot of evidence in their wake. Newly released documents detail the physical and digital trail detectives have followed since last Thursday. I can't give a whole lot of details because we still have one suspect out. The sheriff declined to share specifics in a one-on-one -on -one interview with News 6, but had this to say. The two that we have in custody confessed to the killing of our third victim. In the document, 17-year-old Robert Robinson reportedly told detectives he shot one of the victims because, quote, she was going to snitch on us all. Investigators believe all three teens had been in this white car belonging to 16-year-old Layla Silvernail. She was found lying on the side of the road in the Forest Lakes Park area March 30th. A 17-year-old boy was found in a separate location the next morning. And then the third victim, another 16-year-old girl, was found in Silvernail's car Saturday, partially submerged in water. She was located in the trunk. The sheriff says based on what witnesses heard, the victims were shot at the same time. It breaks my heart as a, as a father. And then when you get an incident like this, not just the victims are juveniles, but all of my suspects are juveniles. And it's like you cry, you want to cry. Now, the sheriff says their investigation is active and they are encouraging anyone who knows that third suspect, Taj Bruton, to do the right thing and come forward. I'm live in Marion County. Catherine Silver getting results. News 6.